Today we're going to be doing adjustable guide speed camber arm. We're going to be replacing the rear strut coils and we're going to be doing the CV axle. So I got all the parts I need pretty much. You just need a 15 mil, 18 mil, um, a good, you know, a good, uh, what's it called? Torque wrench. You're going to need a drill, a, a impact drill. I mean, you're going to need at least two jacks, one bullshit jack maybe, or just two good jacks. It don't really matter, but you need one really good jack for sure. Um, so uh, I guess let's get to it. Remove your wheel. Make sure you have your lugs uh, loosened up before you uh, raise, your, raise your ride. Some of y'all already know. I'm just letting people who don't know type shit. Whatever. All right, so clipped it real quick. So here's what I'm going to do. First thing that I'm going to be doing since I got it raised up, excuse me, first thing I'm going to do since I got it raised up is I'm going to put my bullshit jack right about here, right, because it's going to raise up onto this point. I don't know if I got it on right here. You see where I got my marks from the last time I did the coilovers or whatever, but don't put it on your sway link. Don't do that at all. Just put it right here on the uh, lower control arm, one of them. <clears throat> so what you're gonna do is jack it up. Compress this, your strut, whatever, your shock. And then uh, what you're gonna do is get good jack and have it sitting all the way up so this holds in place. And then you'll remove this bolt and then slowly lower or decompress or yeah decompress the uh coil over because you're gonna it's gonna be compressed because of this part right here that you're uh, uh raising up so then once it's compressed you know compressed you're gonna uh take the good jack and then lower this down after you remove this bolt because once this bolt is loose and you don't have anything right here, this is just gonna jump. It's just gonna jump down and nobody wants that, so. Real quick. All right, so step one, lift your car, raise your car, take your wheel off and shit, right? And then like I say, get your little bullshit jack, put it right there. It's already compressed. I got my car raised up a little bit. Maybe I got it a little bit too much raised up but it's all good we'll get this done and uh let's go ahead and start unbolting this and put a put the good jack under here all right so like i said got your bullshit jack got your good jack and all you're gonna do is have it up to hold it in place like as if you're gonna hold your engine for an engine mount so that's pretty much what you're doing i'm gonna go ahead and remove that far bolt over there and then we'll remove this bolt right here remove the coil remove the strut all right, so, so pretty much I got the bolt most of the way out. The nut on the other side came loose. Kind of get that for you. But yeah, the nut came loose on the other side, right? So now I'm just gonna take the bolt out with the impact and it's just gonna be caught right here on this. And that's pretty much it. Should be all good. All right, y'all. All right, so I should add in that I have a dual exhaust and it may be just a tad bit too difficult to get right there if you ain't got a joint. So if you ain't got a joint, it may be just a little difficult to do it. pause all right so now that i got the bolt out you see it's kind of off track or whatever and that's because most likely i have jacked it up just a tad bit too high over there but i'm gonna figure it out once i get this i just gotta jack it up a little bit more place the bolt inside and i'll figure it out but yeah it's a hassle getting this bolt in but 
yeah i'm probably not going to show you or record all that because i'm gonna probably get pissed off so that's your guys's heads up it can be a little difficult getting that bolt back in but that bolt is that bolt is fairly easy so we're all good time to show you what's up go ahead and add in for you that i used a 15 mil for that bolt back there and it was an 18 mil for the nut on the other side a deep socket and then it'll be the same thing for here 15 mil and then 18 mil deep socket on the other side and that's it so got you so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna slowly release this part sorry for my shaking I'm working I didn't eat this morning so uh we're gonna lower this down and then by your hand since you've removed this bolt with hand just gonna it's gonna take a little bit of force but gonna decompress the shock with your hand and then just remove it and already just slowly lowered it down nice and easy off of its spot so now I'll just go ahead and let it go and that's it you heard that rock and it was just the coil this metal piece that's all it was and then you just take it out that's it rear coil rear spring and then we'll just put the old one or yeah put the old one back in and then from here this should be the easy part somewhat see if I can do it with you decompress it by hand oh my dumbass gotta get those fucking bolts look at me those will be 17 mil just so you know so like I said 17 mil and just decompress the strut by itself shock from this point pull it up and then just kind of take it out just like you did the coil and that's it bro I would not recommend this shit though not at all sorry made it look nice got a good color to it and all that stuff but nah <laughs> nah my bad so real quick now we're gonna do this I thought about it but I'm gonna need some new wheel bearing new wheel hubs I mean what the hell new wheel hubs before I even get started on those CVs so I'm gonna go ahead and do this little uh what's it called camber arm right there all the way back there I'm gonna remove it and then just put the new one in after I tighten it up and size it up and all that stuff and that's pretty much it for that part and then everything else is smooth just putting it right back in and bolting it up all right so what I'm doing remove this bolt or this nut I mean type shit it's gonna look like this I'm gonna keep it and this bolt was on the inside on that side I'm just gonna leave the bolts in there as much as I can I'm probably gonna end up taking that one on the back out but uh, this one is gonna stay put because I'm just gonna pull this out It'll be easy just leave this in enough so that way I don't have to worry about it any you know any type of way but yeah just gonna adjust this to what this length is and go from there so for the rear back here I had to use one two I had to use two of them for the uh, 18 mil they're both 18 millimeter back there so I uh, put one I'm gonna do the opposite on the other side but I put one right here to just stay still and then I just go ahead and ratchet the other one loose and that's it so that's how I did that and I left this in place back there fell down and I just kind of easily pulled it off so all right so got the Godspeed adjustable camber on and after that it's just pretty much reverse and in installing the strut and the coil in the rear so I'm gonna leave y'all to it with that right there
Y'all have a good one. Good luck.